By default, all filters that you set in Tableau are computed independently. That is, each filter accesses all rows in your data source without regard to other filters. However, you can set one or more categorical filters as context filters for the view. Hi all, I welcome you to this session on Tableau. And today we are going to talk about how to improve your view performance in Tableau with the help of context filters. Before we begin, let's look at our agenda for today. We are going to start out by discussing a little bit about context filters and then we are going to move on straight to building them on our Tableau desktop. While we are at it, we are also going to look at how to improve the performance of a context filter by speeding it up and how to edit or remove the filter. With that, we come to the end of our very short agenda. So what are context filters? You can think of a context filter as being an independent filter. Any other filters that you set are defined as dependent filters because they process only the data that passes through the context filter. Now, you can create a context filter for either of these reasons. First of all, to improve your performance, which is the main objective of having a context filter in the first place. If you set a lot of filters or have a large data source, the queries can be extremely slow. You can set one or maybe two context filters or more context filters to improve the performance. Next, to create a dependent numerical or top n filter. Here I'm talking about determining the top five, top 10 of a certain category. You can set a context filter to include only the data of your interest and then set a numerical filter on top of it. For example, suppose you're in charge of stationary products for a very large stationary shop chain. Your task is to find out the top 10 pencil brands that sell by profitability for all stores. Now, if the data source is extremely large, you can basically set a context filter to include only pencils or products categorized under pencils. Then you can create a top 5 filter or a top 10 filter by profit and net profit as a dependent filter, which would then process only the data that passes through that context filter. If your Tableau desktop version is post Tableau 9.0, the context filter here no longer creates temporary tables except for generic ODBC data sources and a few other customized data sources. So now let's directly move on to creating a context filter on our Tableau desktop. So this example basically walks you through how to create a context filter. Now simply put, to create the context filter, you have to select add to context from the context menu of an existing categorical filter. The context is computed once to generate the view and all other filters are then computed relative to the context. Now this example is going to walk you through how to create a context filter, but for that first you'll be needing to filter a view to show the top 10 products by sales. So we are using the sample superstore data source so that it will be easily available to everybody to follow this tutorial. So firstly, we are going to be creating an initial view, which is going to display the sales for all subcategories sorted from the highest sale to the lowest sale. Yes, so we are going to be taking sales measure and that's going to be our column. And then we are going to take subcategory from our dimension, that's going to be a row. And right now it's in a very haphazard order. We are going to go ahead and order it in a descending order. Yes. So now we know phones make maximum sales and fasteners make minimum sales. So now what we are going to do, we are going to create a top 10 filter to just show the top selling products. You can create this filter by First, dragging this subcategory into the filters shelf right here, and then you will get this filter subcategory dialog box where you can go to this top tab and define what you need from the filter. Yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to filter the top 10 by some of sales. So we are going to select by field, top and 10. All right, you're going to apply this and click on OK. All right, so right now we have our top 10 
and now you can see when you click OK that the view is filtered to show the top 10 product subcategories in terms of sales. Now let's go ahead and add another filter to show only furniture products. So what I'm going to do is where is category? Yes, it's here in on the top of the dimensions. So I'm going to drag that to the filter shelf. And here when the dialog box comes up, I am going to go ahead and check only furniture. When finished, I'm going to click on OK. Yes. Now the view is filtered, but instead of 10 products, it only shows three. Now this is because by default, all filters are evaluated separately and the view shows the intersection of the results. So the view shows that three of the top 10 overall products are furniture products. Now to find out what the top 10 furniture products are, we need to make the category filter a context filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the field on the filter shelf. And here I have the option of adding to context. So I'm going to click on add to context. And now as you can see this filter is marked as a context filter and the view updates to show the top four furniture products. Now why not 10? because only four of the subject categories contain furniture. But we now know that the top 10 filter is being evaluated on the results of that particular context. Now here's a couple of tidbits you need to know about context filters. Firstly, they're going to appear at the top of the filters shelf as you can see and are identified by a gray color as again you can see. Now see if I try to rearrange this. It cannot be rearranged in the shelf. In our scenario, the furniture dimension is set to be the context for the view, and the subcategory filter is computed using only the data that passes through the furniture category. Next, let's look at a few ways to improve the performance of context filters. Let's look at a few ways to speed up our context filters. Now, especially on large data sources, there are a few general rules that we usually follow. First, using a single context filter that significantly reduces the size of the data set is usually much better than applying many, many context filters. In fact, if a filter does not reduce the size of the data set by one tenth or more, it is actually worse to add to the context filter because of the performance cost of computing the context. Next, remember to complete all of your data modeling before creating a context. Changes in the data model, such as converting dimensions to measures, will require recomputing the context, which again will slow down the performance of the view. Next, is to set the necessary filters for the context and create the context before adding the fields to the other shelves. Doing this work first makes the queries much faster that are run when you drop the fields on other shelves. And finally, if you want to set a context filter on a date, you can use continuous date. However, if you're using date bins like year of date or context filters on discrete dates, these are usually very effective. Now understand that if your data is heavily indexed, context filters may not provide the best performance improvement and may actually cause slower query performance. Context filters can adversely affect any query performance improvements when you use the assume referential integrity option in the data menu of the data source. Now that we got a knowledge overdose, let's go back to our demo machine and look at how we can modify a context filter. Now there are two ways in which you are going to modify your context filter. One of them is if you want to edit the filter and second one if you want to remove it. But both of them are done exactly the same way. Now it's fairly simple. All you have to do is go to the filter shelf, check your context filter, which is in gray. You're going to click on this little drop down arrow right here on the right. And there you get a drop down menu where you have options such as edit filter, show filter, clear filter, remove from context, so on and so forth. Now if I go on edit filter, here instead of furniture, I can choose office supplies. And on applying, you can see it basically edits my context filter. Okay. Now, the second thing is removing from context. In such a scenario, the filter remains on the shelf as a standard filter 
and if there comes a situation where other context filters remain on the shelf a new context is computed but this category no longer is a context filter it's a simple filter and finally you can remove the field completely from the filter shelf by again clicking on the same arrow and then clearing the filter yes with that you know all the three ways in which you can modify a context filter now i hope we did a good job in making you understand this little fundamental topic of tableau desktop for people who have spent only a little time with tableau i hope you would have benefited a lot from understanding this in your earlier stage one thing i would suggest is when you face a hindrance don't hesitate to ask the community for help the intention of this session was not to look at tableau's full order of operations only how it relates to context filters so here it is a brief run through the context filters demonstrated by their importance in the tableau desktop with that i close my session my name is upasna thank you and have a great day